Hey guys, I'm Sam Mills and welcome to the last Victorian football wrap for 2012. Of course, the season finished uh, last Sunday at Etihad Stadium with the VFL and TAC Cup Grand Finals and both were fantastic matches. Um, but of course, we'll start off with the, T um, we'll start with the TAC Cup because that was the curtain raiser. So um, of course, it was Oakley getting home in a very, very tense match against Gippsland. 10 you know, sorry, 12.10.82 to 12.9.81. Um, I got there just, well, I think it was about 10 minutes to go in this match. Um, it was tense from then on, and you really didn't expect uh, the Chargers to win it. I think they had to keep two goals in the past, uh, in the last eight minutes or so. They managed to do it, and uh, they got over the line. Jackson McRae, make sure you uh, remember that name, he kicked the, the winning point. Now, we didn't actually know it at the time, but the game had actually gone into Golden Point, um, and that's why the siren uh, rang immediately after. But um, that's pretty interesting, and uh, I do wonder if the players actually knew that, uh, that it was in Golden Point. I don't think they would have. But uh, anyway, it was heartbreaking for Gippsland, but a fantastic victory for Oakley. And uh, of course, revenging last year, they lost to uh, Sandringham in the grand final. But, um, you know, getting it back this year. Um, in the goal kickers for Gippsland, Membray kicked four, Graham kicked three, and Scott kicked two. And for the Chargers, Jacksh kicked two, and Billings kicked two. Um, but it was uh, a fantastic game. Best players were Graham from uh, Gippsland and Frenetic from uh, Oakley. So it was a fantastic match. Uh, the last ten minutes was particularly amazing. But um, anyway, that's it for the TAC Cup for 2012 move on to the big one and it was the VFL Grand Final at Etihad Stadium of course um, Port Melbourne going in the hot favourites to go back to back against a Geelong side who were farewelling David Wojcinski um, former superstar of the seniors uh, Port Melbourne couldn't get it done Geelong are the champions of the VFL in 2012 defeating the Borough 14-24-108 to 11-9-75 um, Kirsten kicked three goals for the Cats, so did Mitch Brown, George Burberry, um, and Dan Galea kicked four for Port Melbourne. Um, it was a fantastic match. I've actually got a few notes to go uh, here. The first quarter was very hard and tough. It was tight and contested. It was clangers galore. There was um, a lot of turnovers going on. And, uh, well, Geelong started fast with the first two goals, and then Port Melbourne piled on the next four. Then Geelong got one back just before the siren. Um, yeah, so uh, of course Port Melbourne leading at that stage. The second quarter was uh, very free flowing. Uh, it was much more moving from end to end. No more contested stuff. Um, it was high flying. There were a couple of marks there that uh, were very good. Um, Geelong started the quarter off again by kicking one before Port kicked two. Geelong kicked two, and then uh, uh, Port. Yeah, Geelong. Kicked one, Port kicked two, Geelong kicked two, and then Port kicked another one. So um, it was a fairly even quarter there. Port Melbourne still leading at the, the halftime break. Uh, in the third quarter, the pressure and intensity did lift, and the crowd started to creep into the contest, which was, of course, um, favouring Geelong, obviously with a bigger supporter base. And uh, it was pretty much goal for goal. The Cats kicked the first two of the quarter, and then the next six goals were just um, back and forth, back and forth. So um, that made for an interesting last quarter. Uh, Dean, Dean Galea kicked the first goal for Port Melbourne. Um, you thought at that stage that they were going to run away with it. But uh, Geelong actually then started dominating the match. And, um, you know, they they didn't quite do it on the scoreboard, but the, uh, they kicked the last two goals to win the match. So um, that was the recap of the grand final. Um, so make sure you go check it out on ABC iView. Of course, you can watch it on there. Uh, that's it for season 2012 on the uh, on the Victorian football wrap. Hope hope you have enjoyed it, and uh, please remember to uh, follow us on Twitter. All the links below. Make sure you uh, check them out. So uh, anyway, until next season, I'm Sam Mills, and thanks for watching.